Hey everybody, which book of the Bible is most misinterpreted? It has to be Revelation, right? I mean, people let their imaginations run wild with this book, giving it signs and symbols, all kinds of crazy interpretations. Well, today I want to share just one thought that I think will help all of us to better understand this book. All right, here it is. Respect the self-imposed time restraints. The book of Revelation begins and ends by telling us these things will soon take place. They will soon come to pass. Therefore, any interpretation that has its fulfillment 2,000 years in the future is wrong. Let me show you what I mean. Revelation 1.1, things that must soon take place. Revelation 1.3, for the time is near. The book ends the way it begins. Revelation 22.6, what must soon take place. Verse 10, for the time is near. Do you see that? The book begins and ends by telling us that these prophecies have a short-term fulfillment, not a long-term fulfillment. Now, are there things in the book of Revelation that haven't been fulfilled, like the second coming and final judgment? Yes. But the bulk of the prophecies pertain to that original audience and their situation. What was their situation? They were being oppressed by the Roman government. And John is writing to say that if you'll hang in there, if you'll remain steadfast, in the end, Christ and the church will be victorious. Rome will be defeated. Again, if you have a preacher who says that these things have not yet been fulfilled or are just now being fulfilled, don't listen to him. He has totally taken the book out of its context. The book begins and ends by telling us it was written to them for them. These things would soon take place. The time was near back then.